Hey, today I'm going to show you two ways to duplicate with the newest method that is out right now. This way you will be able to do it every time flawlessly without a problem. The reason why I included two ways to do this is because if the first one does not work out time wise, you can do the second method, which will not require you to be quick. Disclaimer, if you choose to replicate any glitch in the video, just know Bethesda has warned us multiple times over the last few years that if you choose to replicate any glitches you see on YouTube or wherever it is, or even if you discover something than exploitive. If you use it to your advantage, this is against the term and conditions. Just know that you've been warned. The full credit goes to Oscar Schmidt. Hopefully I said that correctly. The link will be down below to the original video. But of course, we're going over a different way of doing it towards the end, so we will get into that. But what you guys want to do is build exactly how I build this. You want three floors up, so build three staircases up and with a floor to the top. Once you have that all done and nice and ready to go you want to then place a ally right afterwards what you want to do from here is go to your ally assign the item that you want to duplicate from there go to the staircase we're going to remove this staircase and as this ally goes to the top we're going to try to scrap it but before we do that we want to place these stairs back down once this stair is back down store the item and then quickly leave out of the lobby once you leave out of the lobby, join the same exact server or from a friend. It does not matter which one you do as long as you are back into the same server. Now that we're back in the same exact lobby, you will notice that the ally has disappeared. This is when you know you've done the glitch correctly. And from here, we're going to pause and fast travel to Vault 76 because it's free to fast travel there. We spawned at Vault 76, time to spawn back at the camp. Once you're back at the camp, you'll notice on the ground where your ally fell that, hey, there is the duplicated item and you go into your stash box. There it is again. You've got two copies of this you're good to go to continuously do more if you need to just remove the ally and then place down a different ally so that way you can keep the process going without you know restarting over and whatnot but the second way of doing this is almost the same exact steps what you want to do is place an item on your ally again but it can be any ally remember that does not matter which ally it is you're going to assign that item talk i had to talk to him so i could get him to move out of the way we are going to delete the floor underneath, and as he drops, we're going to leave the server. When you leave the server, you're going to join a public lobby. Make sure that it pops up saying that your camp needs to be placed in a different way or a different area. You accept it, then join back to your private server. Now, of course, this may be a longer step to doing it, but let's say that you have a difficult time trying to remove the stairs and place it back and all those steps this might be the easier steps for you so that you can just get it done instantly from here what you want to do is the same exact steps we'll fast travel to vault 76 here we are at vault 76 once more now pause the game fast travel back to the camp bada boom bada bang turn around and look at the ground your beautiful duplicated items will be there hope that this is useful for all of you out there trying to duplicate your items just Disclaimer, know that if you, if you continue to, replicate to do this there could be a possibility of bans because this one is multiple time, times in the last few years to well. if you so to that's all i have to say Take care, guys. Love y'all. Peace.